Hey, my Facebook peeps. Uh, Edward O'Daniel here, uh, Dynamis Property Management here in the St. Louis, Missouri area. Hey guys, I wanted to follow back up um, several weeks ago. It might have been back in December, actually. I did a live event where I started to discuss a lease clause that you can put in your lease that says waiver of trial by jury. Now, I gave a very specific example of that. Whenever I uh, did the live event here, I gave a specific example of I actually had to go to court um, and I did not have this actual clause in my lease. I will admit I did not have it at this time, but um, it, it caused me a problem. And I just want to share that um, this is not about that particular case. This is just about the lease clause waiver of trial by jury. Now, here in the state of Missouri, um, there's typically two different rental action cases that you can take in court to get somebody out. And it's probably the case uh, in several other states, but you've got um, case number one, you've got the example where a tenant doesn't pay rent. This is the easiest and pretty much in, in our state, the very easiest to get rid of is people who just don't pay their rent. And that's generally called a rent and possession suit. So um, that's a case you can have there, but many landlords run across other problems when they have tenants that violate the lease. This is very important guys. Uh, um, when they have tenants that violate the lease agreement, but they pay their rent on time. This can be very frustrating to landlords, especially those that aren't professionals that know how to handle it. So the problem is, is the, um, it could be something like a cleanliness clause. It could be something regarding just the way they keep the property, or it could be any other violations that you have in your lease other than paying the rent. Um, in our state, uh, that's called an unlawful detainer. We have to actually go to court and go to a judge and say, this person is not abiding by their lease and that I want them to get out because they're violating their lease, even if they're paying their rent. This right here causes a problem, in, at least in, in my state. And I'm not an expert in all 50 states. I can only talk about the state I'm in because that's where I have to be the expert. So in this kind of case, um, in the state of Missouri, and maybe in your state too, check it out the tenant that you actually take to court can actually request a trial by jury with that. I mean, what happens with that is that your case becomes a lot bigger, a lot longer, and man, it becomes a lot more costly because lawyers, typically lawyers to evict people just charge you a fixed rate. You know, here's my fees, here's what I charge for that, and, and you're done. But it doesn't cover uh, having to go to a court where they do a trial by jury. Excuse me, guys. Um, in that kind of case, it's, it's more expensive, a hell of a lot more expensive. To that, uh, and basically, the tenant has the right to do that. They have the right, you know, through you know, the U.S. to request a trial by jury in this case. Now, let me back up. In a rent and possession case where they're not paying their rent, they do not have that right, at least in my state. The judge is the sole discretionary person that can say yay or nay with that, and they don't have a choice. However, in an unlawful detainer, case, which is a case where the tenant is paying the, the rent, they're not behind, but they are violating some other clause of your lease. And as a result of that, um, you need to get them out. So in that kind of case, you do have to take them to court. Now, here's where this waiver comes in so handy. It is the easiest thing to put in. Guys, I even included in my post here, you know, just as a, you can literally copy this thing and paste it into your lease and boom, now you're protected. So I would check it out with my lawyer just to let you know. I mean, I wouldn't do it without, um, you know, with at least running it by, you know, my state to see if there's anything else I need to add in here. And I don't know what is in my eye here. Sorry, guys. But um, anyway, I'm giving you the, the, the lease clause that you can simply add in your lease. But what this saves you so much time is, is whenever you go to court, or let me just back up. Whenever the tenant moves in and signs your lease, basically they are – giving away their rights to a trial by jury with regard to your lease, not the rights that they have in general, but with regards to your lease and the contract that you have, they are giving up their right to a trial by jury. They're saying, I understand it is much more effective and much more, uh, much quicker and cheaper for all parties to just simply let the judge decide what is, what is going to be. And the only way you can do that, and to expedite this and to make this happen quickly is to put this waiver in your lease. Make sure they can sign it. Now, if it's in there, basically, if the tenant ever goes to, to, um, to court for an unlawful detainer, 
they cannot, and I repeat, cannot request a trial by jury because they have waived their rights with regards to this lease. Now, that's just a huge time saver, guys. I just have to throw this out there, and um, I really just wanted to say that in general, you know, just give you this information, but it is so easy just to drop that lease, I'm sorry, drop this clause into your lease and just know that you're protected, but this is just one of many of the clauses that property managers and landlords can have in their leases that protects them. That's why a lot of leases are, I mean, hell, I mean, I've seen one that was like 16 pages long, um, and that's without the addendums. You know, the addendums were another 10 pages on top of that. Um, anyway, I'm not talking about length of leases, but I'm just saying sometimes leases can be long because you have to accommodate, you as a landlord have to protect yourself from every little thing that could possibly happen. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. But anyway, waiver of trial by jury. I gave you the clause here in this post. Please feel free to go ahead and use it. Have a look at from your attorney. I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in here. I'd be happy to help you out. But, uh, you know, if you're an owner and you own property in the St. Louis, Missouri area, please give us a call. I'm Dunamis Property Management. We're at 314-384-5151. Uh, We'd love to be able to help you out here. And, um, you know, we're just uh, just a good property management company, just looking to do right by our clients. So uh, anyway, guys, appreciate that, Cherry. Good to see you again, Lewis, Helen, Brian. Man, a lot of people jumped on here. That's great. I'm glad everybody hopped on and got some information. But um, waiver trial by jury, put it in your lease. No excuse not to have it because, well, I gave it to you. How do I put, how do I point my finger up toward the lease? I don't even know which way to do that because it's backwards and upside down. Anyway, I gave you the lease, put it in your, <clears throat> sorry, gave you the clause, put it in your lease. And good luck to everybody. Uh, again, just keep a lookout for some other good, useful information. I will keep coming to you live. All right. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.